Hey Star Wars fans, The Force is with Jesse here, just putting my little bit into the collaboration video that we're doing. Um, there's a bunch of us uh, Star Wars collectors in the YouTube community just putting a bit of a video for Hasbro together to um, just sort of state how we feel, um, you know, about three and three quarter inch scale action figures and, you know, how we, how we just want to see this line continue over the next couple of years um, or into the foreseeable future in general. Um, it, it feels like it's taken a little bit of a back burner the last couple of years um, with the sort of introduction of the Black Series uh, back in 2013. Um, and, you know, you can just see here how much, you know, I, among many, have invested into three and three quarter inch collecting. This is just, it's the history of Star Wars collectibles. It's everything. Don't get me wrong. I love my Black Series stuff, but... Uh, you know, I've, I've spent nearly 25 to 30 years um, collecting this stuff. And it all started here for me. Uh, Power of the Force 2. A couple of guys have fallen down there. Um, but yeah, this is this, these are the toys that got me into Star Wars. You know, these are the things that have uh, kept me going for so many years. Um, I know for a lot of people, you get stuff like the vintage. We're talking Kenner. This is my little Kenner collection. I don't have the same nostalgic feel for these as a lot of older collectors do. I am in my early 30s, so the power of the force is where it's at for me. Um, I do love this stuff, though, don't get me wrong. Um, and what Hasbro have what Hasbro's been doing has been absolutely fantastic. We're putting out, you know, great quality vehicles, great play sets. You know, Rogue One tank, absolutely stunning. It's the Mando stuff that's just come out. It's sort of the last 12... 12 to 18 months, absolutely fantastic. Looking back to 2002, the Geonosis Arena. Look at all these figures, look at that. Just, it's it's part of the population of the characters. It's getting to know these aliens and, um, you know, we have such fond knowledge of the saga because of all the characters we have in action figure form. We buy an action figure, we learn about the characters. Um, and that's always been a super important thing for Star Wars collectors, Star Wars fans, are these figures. Um, you know, there's there's been countless, thousands of them. <laughs> Nowhere near complete. And then you drop these bombshells on us, like the barge, the upcoming Razor Crest, absolutely incredible stuff. So yeah, basically what we are trying to get here is that, you know, we really would love vintage collection, three and three quarter inch scale, to really take center stage uh, going forward for the collectors, for fans. Um, it's been too long since we've been able to walk into a store and just flick through multiple figures hanging from the pegs. It's it's become really challenging, and I understand that there is a climate for that sort of thing um, with the changing of you know evolution of online shopping and all that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, just in general, just love to see more characters more vehicles, more figures, more fun. <laughs> um, like, population of Ewoks here, it's incredible. You know, got the Max Rebo band, we've got the Separatist Council, Clone Wars. This was just for an animated series, and I'm not even complete. <laughs> That's just how many figures were put out for, for an animated series in comparison. Star Wars Rebels. Four seasons, Star Wars Resistance, two seasons, Clone Wars, you know, this is based off of five seasons because we didn't really get many for season six and seven, so, you know, there's no shortage of characters, it's, and with, you know, a sequel trilogy full of characters to be mined, uh, you know, Force Awakens did pretty well, um, but yeah, Rise of Skywalker, that's all we've got. Um, but yeah, just, just wanted to say to Hasbro, basically like, yeah, we just, we love this stuff. We, we're cl clamoring for it. We just, we want to, we want to buy the stuff, <laughs> um, basically. Not only that, the, uh, you know, the classic card back style, you know, here I've got my Anakin, up here I've got the Mandalorian, just that sort of classic Kenner card back. It's just, it's super iconic. Um, 
it's it's just what the Star Wars line should be going forward. We've got over 40 years, 40 years of history, just of action figures. It's a, it's an incredible legacy to hold on to, and you know, push it out to 50 years. Keep going with it, because uh, people people want this stuff. There's enough of us out there that really do want this stuff. It's, uh, you know, some of my favourite memories as a child come from playing with these figures. Um, you know, this was probably my favourite as a kid. Hoth Pilot Luke. Among, among many others. Yoda, Chewie, some of my all-time favourites. But yeah, basically just uh, stick with it, Hasbro. We'd love to see more of this in the future, a lot more. We're just extremely passionate and uh, we just wanted to express that amongst, amongst our collecting community. We are a very small portion of the collecting community, but uh, I think we speak volumes on behalf of every single three and three quarter inch collector. May the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.